South Korea's presidential election is coming up in less than two weeks on March 9th. And for Koreans overseas, voting began on Wednesday. Those who've registered have until next Monday in their local time zone to cast their ballots at their local embassy or consular office. Shin Yeun has this report on the first day's turnout. As soon as the clock hit 8 a.m. on Wednesday, some 21,551 South Koreans living around the world started to cast their ballots to choose the country's 20th president. This is roughly 10 percent of some 226,000 overseas Koreans who had registered to vote in advance. Consulate offices and separate polling stations in 115 countries will be open for voters until the end of the month. The U.S. is expected to have the most ballots, with over 53,000 Koreans in the country registered to vote. Despite having the highest number of registered voters, only 5 percent made it to the polls on the first day. Those who did come shared what they wanted to see from South Korea's next president. I hope the next president can impose policies that can help millions of overseas Koreans living across the world. China had the second most overseas Korean voters. Some 9 percent of those registered either visited the embassy in Beijing or nine other locations across China to cast their votes. I hope a candidate who can serve the country and help all citizens achieve their greater cause is elected. Over in Japan, some 3,500 voters cast their ballots on the first day. The Korean embassy forecasts the number of voters for this election to be lower than the last election in 2017. This is partly because there are fewer Koreans in Japan right now due to COVID-19 and travel restrictions. Korean military personnel abroad were among those voting early. The Joint Chiefs of Staff said all of its troops dispatched in different parts of the world, like Lebanon or the UAE, have finished voting. Meanwhile, the Korean embassy in Ukraine has canceled all voting plans because of its escalating geopolitical situation. Around the world, only 11 percent of overseas Koreans have registered to vote, so turnout will be lower than in previous elections. Elections will be held until February 28th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. local time. Voters must have a valid photo ID with them to vote. The ballots will then be sent to South Korea and won't be opened until Election Day on March 9th. Shin Yeun, Arirang News.